Hey there, it's Scott from Wessex Blades. Um, this idea I've been toying with on and off, I'm guessing, for about two and a half, maybe three years. If I can mount the angle grinder so I can access the switch, I mount it in such a way that it's secure and I can still take the machine out again, I can use it as a knife grinder on a platen here as the wheel spins around there. This used to be on my Franken grinder. And if I take a notch there out, that'll shove that further that way. So when I got a new wheel on, this means that here will be back where it is there. I've got enough room to bridge this across. If I cut that there, shunt that that way, I got a, pla a sort of batten effect there to hold that in whilst I maybe do some hinges and a clamp that sort of holds in that way and hmm. Wessex blades what are you going to do now oh yeah and I took the clamp off the bandsaw because I got an even more crazy idea to mount my anvil on it maybe in time take the legs off and mount the bandsaw to some huge slab of wood anvil stand a bandsaw. Obviously the wood's there because I don't want the shock messing up the cast base. Crazy ideas, but let's get on with that angle grinder mount clamp stand bracket thing. <coughs> you saw see why I was unaccurate guess sort of things. Ron Hood School of about right. Something about there. Oh, I like the saw. Like. So let's put that somewhere dry. Somewhere dry. <laughs> <clears throat> So now mooch over here because my problem is I haven't got a deep enough throat and the band's all down here because I've only got hey tripod I've only got from there to the inside of there in terms of room and it's just not enough so I had to saw that off first take a chance I want to notch this out but I want it sloped because I don't want to be too weak. Stop about there. Stop about there. Oh, it's false. It's so handy having a bouncy. It's a bloody excellent bit of kit. The only annoying thing that really gets me is that when you chunk a noggin out of that, that little piece, it gets stuck there. And it will stall the little sort of 400 watt motor. So you've got to have something ready to hand. Keep turning it off. Get the noggin back. Do you see a problem? I'll just keep cutting it like that. It's probably not a blade, it'll take it. Cutting grinder disc, but I don't know. I want that rounded in there.
Clamp the bejesus out of the wood to start with. So when you screw it down, it should be as tight as what the clamp was to start. in the other little section that does settle in there um, yes N not something I'm endorsing for people to have a go at doing um, what I've um, I've had as a goal was to set an angle grinder up and I've been wanting to do it for years um, in order to say that uh, if you're holding a faster thing that's what's going to give you the white finger and a vibration by putting it in a, a clamp on a board Already I've increased its mass and so it won't actually shake as much. It'll be a different form of vibration. So already it's in a huge great metal vice. It's on a board. It's mounted down. It's clamped down. There's just more there. So as I'm putting the metal on, it's going to be a completely different form of vibration. And all that I've done there, there's none of that. It, it, once you get it and you, and you 
and you go like that with your hands you get this metallic bongs on sort of resonance thing on your hands and that's where you got to stop um, so it's achieved its purpose for me now health and safety wise there's a hell of a lot that's gonna go wrong if you don't know what you're doing and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the reasons why it's dodgy okay first of all I've had to cable tie off the dead man switch which is the thumb to press and then the, the, the big long button that you press down that's for if you drop it it's not gonna belt sander drag racing across the floor right it'll turn off as soon as you let go and it'll spin down so already the power is off and it's just freewheeling down that's the reason it's there for it. if you drop it if you fall off your ladder it's going to stop this one will keep going until I pull the plug out okay my grinder from John is exactly the same okay my Franken grinder was exactly the same okay so um, obviously what I don't want is people jumping up and down and going oh you're off and safety nightmare most of my stuff that I've been using over the years is homemade anyway all right my uh, title that I use is entertainment yeah this this is supposed to give you all a laugh and go hell's he on there all right so for all you people who work in industry and all the rest of it just take your pinch of it's something that's going to alleviate a hell of a lot of vibration injury and that's why I'm doing it um, the clamps I'm going to work on um, it's so much easier, so much more accurate um, and another problem that you, you'll face because you'll never do it another problem you'll, you'll face is obviously now the disc is spinning towards me whereas before you're holding it and throwing most of the particulars out in front now it's coming towards you so it's a lever apron um, and just I'm putting less pressure on just in case you get little chips in the disc alright because I'm getting more disc bits will be falling towards me as opposed to away from me um, obviously the wooden clamp might end up overheating and charring slightly um, I've done my best to allow the um, cooling areas of the motor to still keep air going in and out so I haven't blocked that up with the clamps um, but it's, it's working it's doing a job and uh, for the nine quid I paid for the grinder now I've got something that's energetically a lot more efficient for me to use um, I'm not holding the weight of it I'm literally plump there my, my eyes are right on top of the work like I set a light up I'm not moving it I'm not, the whole thing is just easier that's me so all those who know my crazy antics and yeah 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 it's a it's pretty dodgy um but then so is the franken grinder then i haven't got an nvr switch on my motor for my um thing from john and um, there's i've got a, f a sodden wooden um sodden wet floor i'm using electrics we can go on forever and a day about what the stuff i'm up against safe and health and safety wise but with the experience that i've got i'm getting around it and I appreciate it and I'm not going out of my way to be blase with what I'm doing in here if that makes any sense yeah it's a bit dodgy but it's entertainment Scott from Wessex please